Hello Australia, thanks to Scoot. This is episode 559 of The Catch. We have got a big one. We're giving Julian Souza a chance of winning two tickets to Singapore thanks to my favourite airline, Scoot. So stay tuned, you'll meet him very soon. We've got James and Ian sitting on the couch today. They're from a brand new play coming to the Blue Room called Hobo. Please start, wait for that, we're going to talk to them very, very soon. Annie Kay is on the wheel today. She's going to be talking about her brand new song. What's it called? Love Like That. Now she's 13, she's got heaps to tell, she's been doing lots of stuff. Stay tuned, you'll meet her. Steve Allen's talking about winter breaks, where to go in winter around the world in Australia. Can't wait for that one. We're also talking to the people about the Canning Show. That's coming up in November. Heaps more. Amanda cooking for us. We have got such a big couch. I am breathless. And for episode 559, thanks to Scoot, we're going to spin the wheel. We're out of here. It's a couch. Showtime on the couch. Hey, showtime on the couch. You can see it from your house You can see it from your house yeah. It's showtime on the couch With Fred And the best in town Yeah, it's showtime on the couch Oh, oh, oh Wow, big show. Looking forward to it, Annie. Yeah. Who's opening the show for us today? We have Tanika Peverell, and she is singing Beautiful by Christina Aguilera. Because she is beautiful, no matter what they say. Here it is.
That is, of course, Tanika Paverell, and she'll be performing at the end of the show, if we get time, if I haven't gone over time like I usually do. So just take a seat, Tanika. We may need you at the end. Someone that we definitely need here in Perth is local theatre, and we've got two guys here that are running a fantastic organisation. They're called, let me get it right, Jeffrey the Cat Production is the company that uh, James works for or runs, and we've got yep. Ian Wilkes here, the actor as well, from the, the actual play is called Hobo. I got it right this time around. Yep. Welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you. Thank Thanks you. for coming in. First of all, James, tell me a little bit about your production company. Okay. Um, firstly, I'm an actor this time. Mm. Ian's the director. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, our company is a pretty new company. Well, it's very tell new. Us about We've it. uh, it's basically started over the last twelve months. Uh, mm. We applied for Fringe Festival after I wrote a play that started out in the Yuri Arkin Writers Group. Mm -hmm. um, it feels like we can't even actually call ourselves a company yet. So because, why did you um, set it up? What was the reason behind setting up a production company? Because the form had a box that said, what is the name of your production company? <laughs> <laughs> so was that really what it is? I'm, and I'm I said Jeffrey the Cat. <laughs> so why the name? Where, where, the, where did the name come from? Because uh, I got this cat called Jeffrey. Um, <laughs> so it's as simple as that. Yeah. So it's pretty local. Yeah. Ian, yeah. tell me about your fantastic play, Hobo. Well, it's actually James's play that he's written. Mm -hmm. So he's he's. So James this is play. actually writing plays as well. Exactly. He's also the actor in this one, yep. and he also owns the production company. Yeah, he, he does it all. So we don't I'm need just anyone. The director. Else. Should we just talk to him then? Yeah. Do so you want me as to leave? As a director, oh, well, no, I think James would probably feel a bit lonely. Yeah. Tell me what the play is about for those people going to go and watch it. Okay, so the play Hobo is about a homeless man mm. named Fred. Yep. Yeah, just like you. Yep. Um, but well, we are pretty homeless, I have to... Yeah. yeah, well, you might get there. I just can't find a house big enough. No. So okay. what's it about? Homeless man named Fred, he's lost everything. He, he was an ex-radio presenter mm -hmm. and um, we, 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 he starts to live <laughs> homelessly within a, um, an alleyway. And, and he makes worry a... if anyone's listening from 6P, I won't be moving in there too. too yeah. <laughs> so he lives in an alleyway. He lives in an alleyway and he meets another um, homeless man named Tank. Okay. Tank is an Aboriginal homeless man and, and it's about the connection between these two men and, and what's important about the, the masculinity behind what it takes to be a man. Um, does it take a house? And we, we explore these issues I think James is trying to um, explore within his writing. So how hard has it been to put this together? Uh, on a scale of one to ten? Um... Ten. It's yeah. been really difficult. Well, what are the difficult things of doing this? Because a lot of people come to a show and go, oh, wow, it's wonderful. Or they say, oh, no, I didn't like it. But they don't usually know what goes up behind the scenes. So what's been the, the, you know, the, 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 the job? The biggest challenge for me is stepping in as director and knowing that the show's been done before. It, it was done previously at the mm. Blue, Blue Room last year or earlier this on. This year, January. Yeah. February. Not, well, not that long ago. It's been one of those days. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the biggest problem from well, uh, challenge yep. for me has been carrying on as director and bringing in a new eye into something that's already been done so changing things and, and putting my flavor on a play what about the cast How the many cast people? there's three yep tell me um, about that. so fred yep. is played by who, james hagen i was going to say who plays fred <laughs> james hagen is james he a good hagen actor? he's a he's a wonderful actor he's small large he's a uh, Bit large. He's, really? he's got, oh, oh, he's got no, a large, no, 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 no. Put a large down. presence. Copyright on infringement. <laughs> no. Just so I remember later. He's he's um he's got a large voice. He's got oh, a beautifully good. majestic voice, and he's um quite powerful on on stage. Oh, well, yes, Maitland Snars yes. plays Tank. Yep. He's um a, a good good friend of mine and a good colleague. I've acted with him and worked with him within industry. He's an Aboriginal man and he, he plays Tank. And then we got James Taylor here, writ the play, and he also plays a young character called Terry. Fantastic. And, and tell me a little bit about Terry. Oh, Terry's, I think, caught in the middle of um, a generation gap, I think. Well, a generation overlap, uh, where I think, you know, our parents, well, our parents would be Generation A and then we've got Generation C. And he's kind of in the middle there, stuck in the middle of trying to conform to his parents' ideology whilst really being on the verge of being in a new generation himself. So, you know, where does he go? Does he try to impress his dad and kind of, you know, almost drive himself to desperation or mm. does he move on? I think that is what Terry's going through. I hope so. 
<laughs> Quite complex. Is there a lot of comedy in this play? Oh, yeah. Is there a lot yeah, of there's a lot of comedy for everyone. I mean, there's some comedy that's targeted towards Aboriginal people. There's some comedy that's just targeted towards Is it done everyone. tastefully? It is. It's not going to uh, break any boundaries there? No, but... Or have but, you done it so that people do get a bit uh, unsteady in this the, the, we, we like to have a laugh at, at the beginning because yep. the best way to make a theatre show, and if you really want something to hit at the end mm -hmm. and you want people to feel something, the audience, I mean, is to get them laughing at the beginning. So, yeah, there's definitely some comedy. We like to get people comfortable. We want the audience to laugh and feel comfortable and then we're going to make you think. We might start, you know, touching your heartstrings and, and touching your Sounds mind like an and your thoughts. Play. And... James, very briefly, tell us why people need to come and see this play. What, what are they going to get out of it when they come and watch it? They're going to get to watch a show that's put on by new up-and-comers. Um, what they're not going to get Mm -hmm. is something that tells them what they have to do, what they should do. They're going to get something to talk about, you know? We're not Fantastic. trying to say, do this, do this, this is the problem, this is the solution. We're like, we're new, we're young, come and have a look what we got to say. If you don't like it, that's cool. If you do, great. Look, I think if you two represent this play, it's bound to be a laugh and a bit of a funny play. <laughs> now, the play opens at the Blue Room Theatre here in Perth in Northbridge. It's, it's at the... Um, it's at the Perth Cultural Centre and it is in Northbridge. Tickets will be $18 to $28 and they'll be, of course, available online at uh, the Blue Room or just blueroom.org.au. You need to go and see this. It goes from the 5th to the 16th of July, so it's, only, it's next month. Yep. Heaps of uh, days there and we want people to come to the preview screening as well if they can on the 5th of July. So if you want to come to the, the pre-show, this is where you make all the mistakes, isn't it? Yeah, this is where the it's play will be It's usually the funniest raw. show, I yeah. reckon. 5th of July, so get in touch with the Blue Room. Thank you very much for coming in today. It's wonderful what you guys are doing and we hope that we uh, speak to Jeffrey the Cat Productions much more because I'm sure you're going to have more than just one thing. Yeah. You don't Absolutely. look too confident, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing most of the time, so hopefully... Thank you very much, James Taylor and Ian Wilkes, of Thanks, course, Fred. from the fantastic play Hobo. Now, let me just tell you, later on in the show today, we are going to... Do I need to change? I'll oh, switch to this camera. Look at that. Um, we're going to be playing Spin It to Win It. We've got a contestant coming in. His name is Julian Sosa. And we're going to be looking forward to him spinning up a fantastic prize on the wheel. So stay tuned for that one. But now, let me talk to this young lady. She's only 13 years old. Just turned that in December. Yes. Annie Kay or Anika Karu, welcome <laughs> to the couch. Thanks for having me. Nice to have you back. You've been yeah. away about six or seven months. Now, I've got a list of things here that your mum and yourself have given me because I'm not make sure I get the right page or I'm going to get strangled. <laughs> what have you been up to? Because we're going to get you to sing for us your new song, yes. Love Like That. But first I want to talk about some things that are happening. Tell me about the remix of your first song, Come On People. Uh, well, we have a producer in France, and he's a very talented producer. His name's Harold, mm. and he's remixing. He's remixed our song "Come On People," and we're going to release it in Europe in a few months. How does so that go? For those people who don't remember, sing me a little chorus of it. Come on, people, lend a helping hand. Oh yeah, that's the one. That I one. To. Now that's been remixed, and that's going to be available. Are you releasing it again? Uh, yeah, we're re-releasing it in. Two months, I'd say. Look around forward there. to that. Now, you've also started up a fashion label. We're going to talk about that. But the song playing, uh, your song is playing on Kyle and Jackie O's A-list. How yeah. did you do that? Uh, with lots of blood, sweat and tears and lots of mum nagging. Did you have to beat them up? <laughs> Not that far. Oh, OK. <laughs> but, That's yeah, right. it was a lot of hard work on mum's behalf and um, my publicist as well. And, yeah, they just really like the song. And is they it a play. hard job as a 13-year-old to try and get out there and get some sort of screenplay and, and getting your songs out there and getting publicity? Yeah, it's really hard. I mean, sometimes people don't want to see a 13-year-old as someone who can actually have a serious like position in like the music industry. Mm. But I mean Unless they come from neighbours or home and away. Yeah. Then yeah. they're like twelve and they're releasing million dollar songs. Or Jacob Sartorius, but there he doesn't count. But we don't want to be annoying. we don't want to be bitchy anyway, do we? <laughs> but why not? Let's carry on. No, no. <laughs> so you're gonna be on the A list. When can we see that? When will that happen? Ah, uh, that's playing they play I think their shows every Friday and Sunday. So I think they're in the morning. So listen out for that. Alright, and hit 92.9 and hit AU. What's happening with that? They're planning to play the song soon as well. Um, it's playing on a show with Byron Cook. And I, yeah, just. Fantastic. Now, this is your new song, Love Like That. Is that the one? Yeah. Beautiful. Now, iTunes, people can actually get your song from iTunes if people want to buy it. Can they do that now? Yeah, it's on iTunes. And, and it's only like $1.69 or yeah, thereabouts. It's not too much. And fantastic. Now, you're still studying as well. People don't know that you haven't left no, your schooling. No, I haven't dropped out. What year are you in a school? I'm in year eight. How is that sort of, uh, how are you coping with doing schooling 
and also entertainment, singing, travelling around the world, all that type of thing? Um, yeah, I mean, sometimes it can be really, like, difficult, but then I have this wonderful mother who is willing to take all the work for me, so I have just Have you kinda... been adopted out? <laughs> <laughs> no, look, I know your mum doesn't. Gigi, we'll call her. She is an amazing mum, because it's really important as a 13-year-old as that your parents support you, and I was talking to her offset today, and she's, she's very proud of you. Is it important to have the backing of your parents, and especially your mum? She's there by your side all the time. Sometimes that can be a hindrance, and I'm sure very annoying, but you also... Fred, she's listening. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see her over there. She's a lovely mum. So tell me about Pirate 88. Um, yeah, I just started doing some radio work with a show called Pirate 88, and they're mm -hmm. based in Frio, and I've been interviewing lots of young um, WA artists, and, yeah, it's some amazing talent. When can we hear that? or can we, Is it online or is it yeah, live? Yeah, it's um, a web radio, so you can go listen to it on SoundCloud. All and when are you on? There. Um, whoa, it just comes up. I think I'm on Friday. So it's the Just listen to out. it 24 hours yeah, a day. Yeah, just always listen to it. And you'll, you'll get that. Now, Melbourne, tell yes. me what's so special about that because it says here that uh, M Squared. What's yes. that about? Uh, we're doing some new work with M Squared in Melbourne. I think we're writing a new song. So some new music coming and up. For those people who don't know, I thought it was a math thing, but Math Squared, who's that? Maths. Is it maths? I don't know. I oh, think M Squared, sorry. M Squared, <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking um, maths because M Squared and that. <laughs> No, they're um, they're a team of producers, so that'd be interesting. And they're very good, aren't they? Yeah, I've heard lots of good things. About Are them. you ever scared as a thirteen-year-old? Do you ever get scared and say, oh, "I just want to be a kid. I want to make, uh, I want to play, you know, piano. Or I want to go and study. Or I want to play netball. Or I want to dance." No, I mean. I mean, sometimes I think teenagers are very it? whiny, but um, I'm usually pretty happy. Like, and if I do want to do something, then I just tell mum, you know, like maybe we should drop this. I'm feeling a bit stressed, and she'll be like, "Okay." <laughs> Your fashion label. Can, mm. Do you do clothes my size, or is it just for ladies? <laughs> oh, Fred. Not that I can't wear ladies' clothes. See, I don't I fit the clothes either because we made this when I was like 12. So they're all too small oh, well, for me last too. last year. I can't even wear my own clothes. So are they your own fashion labels? Are they clothes that say Annie K on them? No, they're clothes that say GG Inspiration because Mum and oh, I did it. Oh, yeah. yes, there's where the GG comes from. So where can we get these clothes? Uh, they are. Mum has a website for the clothes, so you can go check them out there. And, yeah, I think I'll be so wearing So GG them. Inspiration. Now, finally, I want to wrap up with you've got 113,000, we're hoping, in six months' time. That's been quite amazing. On Facebook, see, yeah. 113,000 people. Does that scare you? Because I've got like 35 people and I get scared. <laughs> it must be a big thing. Um, yeah, but a lot of the people are really lovely and I love talking to them and having conversations and a lot of them have really interesting stories, so it's, it's great to talk to them. Now, look, it, I know we've only got five minutes to talk to you today. Was there anything else I missed out on? Fashion Lab, I think we've covered everything. Your song comes out. When can we get it on iTunes? Straight away now? Yeah, after they hear out. it today? Now, from here, where do you go to? What's your next gig? Because you're, you're going to Melbourne and then something else in between? Uh, Melbourne and my next gig is A Million Exams next week. Thank you. Now, how did you write the song? Tell us about a little bit about the song. Well, the, we worked on the song with this fantastic producer. His name is Stuart Stewart. Convenient Stuart Stewart. Um, and, yeah, so we worked, with it, um, we worked on it with him in uh, Brisbane. Yep. And we wrote it and produced it in a week. So that was a bit... Do you write the songs yourself? I do write the songs. Amazing. He, he did the production. You are an inspiration to a lot of young people. I know today we were a very quick interview, but we got a little bit of taste of Annie Kay. If people want more about you, they can go to your Facebook page, yep. which is? Facebook, Twitter and Instagram is Annika Carew. Annika Carew or yep. Annie Kay on the show today. Now, you need to go off because you're going to perform for us, aren't you? Yes. So I'm going to push oh, you up. Oh. Right. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Annie Kay. Oh, she's a bit of a pain anyway. <laughs> 13-year-old. She'll be hosting the couch soon. Here she is. She's centre stage. She's ready. She's telling me to bugger off. She's going to sing a beautiful song. It's called Love Like That. Here she is, Annie Kay.
There you go. We were just joking. I didn't really push her into the wall like so many people thought. Annie Kay, she's a wonderful talent. She's part of the couch. Hopefully we'll see her more. But please support her because, you know, young talent, 13 years old. And also don't forget our fantastic play, Hobo, which will be at the Blue Room coming up very, very soon. We'll take a break and we'll be talking to Steve Collins coming up, talking winter breaks after the break on the couch. Welcome. Welcome back to The Couch, only on Foxtel on a Sunday night. Hope you're enjoying the program. Time now to maybe turn off the TV or leave for about 15 minutes if you're not happy with our travel destination because Steve Collins from Radio Roaming is back dressed as a Cossack. Yeah, no, Cossack? I'm the Cossack. I'm dressed for the winter. We're going to, it's a, I hate oh, winter. Do you like you do? winter? I, I actually love winter. the rain. Do you? But I don't like travel. No, I don't mind the rain, but I don't like the cold. Yep. So I thought, well, why don't we have some winter breaks? Why don't we go to some... Well, we've got a couple of sunny places to go to. A lot of people to. think when it's winter, they don't travel and there's nowhere to go to. But yeah. we're going to prove that wrong, aren't we? We certainly are. All so right. we're going to go to three hot destinations mm -hmm. and one really cool one. So the first one we're going to go to is Darwin. Have you ever been to Darwin? Never been to, oh, I've been to Broome, oh, never to Darwin. Place. Well, we're going to go to Broome next, but we'll go to Darwin first. Darwin is, yeah, it's a, it's a tropical city, particularly this time of year, really from about May through to mm. October. It's just wonderful. Well, look at those look amazing at the colours. That's Cullen Bay. And that, that's, that's, a, that's a little beach at, in, in Darwin. Now, you see that, 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 that netting there? That's not for sharks. Mm. That's for crocodiles. Mindle Markets. Oh, wow. Mindle Markets are fantastic. They've got about 65 food, different clothes, food, gifts. yeah. And that's Sunset at Mindle Beach. Uh, it's just a glorious little beach. It's what? just a wonderful place to go. Crocodiles, oh, oh, lovely. Cro crocodiles Can't up wait there. For that one. That's a crocodile, crocodile jumping cruise. Um, they wanted to put me on top. They they said, "Look, can you hang on to this rod?" Wow. And uh, that's the crocodile going up for me. But it's just a wonderful place. Does it scare you the fact that there's crocodiles there and they could easily grab you and take you into the water? Well, no, because I don't swim where the crocodiles are, oh, and there are big yes, signs yes. everywhere. Good. But a lot of people <laughs> ignore them. <laughs> crocodiles. Crocodiles yeah. can't read, so they don't know that you shouldn't be swimming there. Yeah. So no, 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 it's a good place. And there's been some tragic. But, but that one's just, yeah. this time of year. It's just fantastic. It's warm, beautiful, warm days. Yep. Yeah. Um, and no, no humidity up there this time of the year and no rain. And it's a very, very green place. So what would you recommend people stay? Maybe four or five days? Is that too long? Well, I'd, I'd recommend if you're going to go to the Territory, you, you do Darwin. Darwin's good for probably about three days because mm. there's a lot to see there. Um, uh, but yeah, there's places like uh, uh, Litchfield National Park, which is just fantastic. Uh, and there's 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 a lot more to do there. You go down to Mataraka Springs. Mm -hmm. Mataraka Springs are hot springs, and you just do this drift along, and it's uh, it's about four hours, I think, south of uh, uh, south of Darwin. But there's a lot to do there. Is there and good food? Hire, hire a car. Good food. Mm. Oh yeah. Very big Asian influence in there, of course, because, oh, uh, because it's got a big Chinese history as well. Um, uh, but these Mindel markets that we showed before, the food there is Yeah, because I, I went to Alice yeah. Springs a while ago, and I have to say that everything was frozen, everything was flown in, and yeah. there was nothing fresh. No, no, it's all fresh up in Darwin. Darwin Because it's a major river. port, of course. Mm. Now, the next place we're going to is one of your favourite spots, and it's definitely one of mine. It's Broome. Incredible Broome. place. Oh, uh, about a three-hour flight north of Perth. Once again, like Darwin, because it's it's deep in the it's tropics. It's like Bali, but in Australia. It's but nothing without... like Bali at all. It's where the <laughs> desert meets the sea. Where, 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 whereabouts in Bali well, I'm is there desert? about the sunset, the beach. The sunset uh, is just sensational. Oh, uh, look, that looks like but Bali. That's that's that's, that, that's not. Bali, that's Broome. You can tell because the water is cut. The water there oh, that looks like Chinatown Bali. in Broome is is it's just about the closest you're going to get to Bali. A lot of pearl shops there, so don't take your wife there. That's the There's Bali shopping. jetty. And I took that. I was having lunch. Um, you know, Vince Garefo, I yes, Vince I myself are having lunch there, and it was the most beautiful mud crab. It is an incredible Ooh, place. Yeah. We went camel riding. Yeah. We had the camel rides. Did you? We, yeah, you can go Did to the Did you have one hump or two? Well, I had the one, but mm. I tell you what, I didn't enjoy it. The, no, yeah, you could, not into the camel, probably. <laughs> it wouldn't, the camel wouldn't get up. <laughs> no, can you blame it? There we go. There's a camel now. That's you on top of the camel. and uh, But that's on Cable Beach. No, my camel wasn't Beach. that high. And that I'll tell camel. you what, uh, you, there you go. <laughs> Hold on, which one's a camel? I can't see. <laughs> the camel's not the one wearing blue. No, I reckon no, but they're lovely. And I so, enjoyed no, the camel's it. good. That, there's a couple of camel trips mm. you can do, but really just at sunset, on Cable Beach, it's mm. just lovely there. So we done Broome. Hey, I'm going to take you another place that you have fallen in love with, and that is Singapore, because oh. Singapore, we went up there, 
earlier on in this year. Mm. And didn't we have a fantastic time? Do you know what? I say it all the time. We had The best thing was the Scoot travel. But, I mean, yeah. Scoot flew us in. Oh, Singapore, fantastic. first time Singapore. there. I loved it. Yeah, I really yeah. did love it. Look, there's a lovely lady this is there. A, oh, that's a prank in Katong. And, of course, there we go. That's the Marina Bay Sands and... Uh, uh, and we're, that's where we are. We're on the Singapore flyer there. That's just fantastic. And of course, we went down the. Oh, yeah, Pen but off. what about the gardens by it. the bay? Gardens by the bay. Isn't that sensational? The, the giant trees, the super trees. The super trees with the, the, the sound and light show at night. I was uh, impressed. Jurong Bird Park, that was Loved great. It. Look at uh, that. But the food there, here we go. This that's is where the, you went into the gardens. This is the gardens. cloud forest. This is the gardens. You by went the right bay. up to the top there, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, this is sensational. But that water. I mean, that's a significant waterfall, and it's very, very humid in there because when you get up the top, you didn't go up there, but when you get up the top, mm. the, it's a, a, they, they, they simulate clouds and they have all this very fine spray and it becomes cloudy, and that uh, that represents the it's sort gardens. of environment you get at about um, 3,000 metres. And do you know tropics. what I loved about the place too? Mm. Not only do you get the gardens, oh, you get the super light, trees the and the super music. Trees. There's and restaurants show, there, though. there's bars there, there's shops yeah. there. You can do a lot. So you can and make it a family night. They had a, it was a musical theme, wasn't it? Yep. Uh, a musical comedy sort of theme with some of the music from the great shows. Yep. Yep. Just a wonderful, wonderful place. I love but it. But yeah, you've got to go up to Singapore, I reckon. Look, At any time, we any time is great. And we didn't get time to actually do a lot of shopping no. because we only were there for four days. Yeah. But there's heaps of shopping centres. There's yeah. a fantastic metro. Metro Rail, the, 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 the public the transport, M MRT, yeah. MRT. So easy to uh, get around up taxis. there. Taxis, it feels yeah. like you're in Australia. It's as taxis clean up as there Australia. really cheap as well. You don't need Uber up there because it's really cheap. And the beer place that you yep. went to was oh, the, the beer marketplace. The beer market. yeah, and, was, and Chinatown yeah. with all the different stalls of food yeah, and the oh, markets. Love beautiful. All that. And Little India, etc. No, it was great. And, and Camp on Glam, remember our little selfie coffee? Yep. They put the picture of us on top yeah, of the cappuccino with a digital cream printer. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's so much to see and do. If you haven't... It's the first time I've ever sucked your face, you know. Well... <laughs> And going to be the last. <laughs> well, if you took a bit of the fat with you, it would have been not bad. I had the low-fat milk, of course. Now, the last place yeah. we're going to go, we thought... Yeah, it's weird. A lot of people do love wind out and they love the cold I thought river. sucking my fat would have been the last place you would have gone. <laughs> I've, I've got this image that I want to... I want to I'm, I'm going to talk about Queenstown because there's an image up there that's got to go. OK. Um, Queenstown <laughs> is on the South Island of, uh, of New Zealand and it's in uh, the region called Otago, mm -hmm. which sounds sort of... That sounds it's beautiful. Japanese. But here we go. This is the most beautiful. It's built... Uh, it's, it's situated within the mountains and you've got this lovely lake. There's several lakes there. But this lake here, it's Massive, and it's shaped like a Z. And the reason why it's shaped like a Z is see all that snow on the top mm -hmm. of the mountains there is because it's it's been uh, been been cut out by glaciers. But a lot of people go there for for their their uh, snowboarding and their skiing. They go to the Remarkables or Coronet Peak. Very very good to skiing there. Really popular. Great shopping. Good food. Just the most beautiful place. Queenstown in uh, I love it. Uh, in New Zealand, great place, particularly in winter. There's a place called Winnie Bagos, which is yeah. a pizza place. You go up the stairs in winter, wood fires. They, it is an amazing place. There's restaurants, there's uh, seafood, yeah. fish. Lots, uh, lots of stuff there. You can have, cook on the, your stone. Yeah. Look. We we took a, one of those camper vans, you yeah. know those, um, you know, yeah. Winnebago. Thank you very much. Winnebago, and we went around all the South Island, all the way yeah. around the, and it, it is amazing. It's a beautiful place. If you haven't seen New Zealand, Broome, Broome is a wonderful place. If you haven't seen Sentosa in Singapore or anything in, in Singapore, if you're like me, you stop over at Singapore, then you fly out of there. Take a few days off and go and see Singapore. Yep, it's amazing. It's and, of course, the last one was Darwin. I'd love to go up there. Well, actually, Darwin Maybe we was should do the a trip first there. one. We should go to Darwin. I, my son lives in Darwin, so I've got accommodation for I think that would be up. wonderful. Sounds wonderful. good. If you want more information, of course, you can find all the info and more at radioroaming.com. That's where Steve is, or 6PR Radio. You're bound to find him, in, find him on there sometime. But radioroaming.com, great interviews, great stories, yeah. great. Uh, you write uh, your articles, you yeah, interview people, and I do. great travel yeah. destinations. Yeah. As well. no, great. And thank you to yeah, Scoot as well, because we say thank you to Scoot every week on the show. So it's so wonderful. We They're wonderful airline. Well done. Thank you very much, Steve. Talk to you soon. Now, 
Talking another fantastic thing, if you want to stay here in Perth, WA, we've got the Canning Show coming up in November with us in the studio as the CEO, because her assistant in marketing had to fly out all around Europe, mm -hmm. she's lucky enough to come in. Welcome, Diane Begg. Hello, how are you? Well, thank you. And you've got a couple of friends with us in today. Do you want to uh, introduce them first and then we'll yeah, talk to them? Yeah, I'd like to introduce CARS members, Christine Bailey and Hi. Lynn Fenton. Hello. Both Lovely. these ladies are really involved in the craft section and also the flower and, and fruit and veg growing sections of the canning show and they are champions they have won trophies and prizes um to you know to give credit to their name just how how good they actually are at that entering and winning prizes the canning show fantastic now the canning show in november again this year a lot of mm. people have asked the question are you going to be up and running because you've had a lot of refurbishment there new buildings flattening yeah. old buildings yep. what's the update the update is we are progressing really, really well with the reconstruction of the new showgrounds. Mm -hmm. The trees are getting planted, so we're, we're literally that close. Another four weeks and the workmen and the tradesmen will all be off-site and then we will be getting you know, ready for, for the show in November without a hitch. So Big things happening this year. It's going to be things. bigger than ever. I think it's going to be it's a huge... I've seen a bit of the, run, you know, huge. What's the running sheet, if we're going to call yeah, it that. Yeah. Uh, you've got heaps of stuff for people who have probably never seen the show before. This is a great opportunity for them to go down for the first time, if this is their first time. If it's follow-up business where you've been there before, it's going to be big. Don't miss it this year. Tell us some of the things that are happening this year. Well, this year it's all about get ready for the show as it always is because the backbone is the two and a half thousand exhibits that we have that come in from our local artisans who cook and bake and make. Um, so we've got, by public demand this year, we've got an interest in having a champion herb growing. So for people who, mm. oh, yeah. Champion? <laughs> a wig Legal would be herbs fine. only, thanks, Fred. <laughs> Just sell wigs, I reckon that. And, and a bit of glue. But, you, you know, the hair three sample herb. herbs. Herbs, sorry. Herb. Herb. I thought hearing aid for a minute. Herb, did you hear? No, that was hair. That's what I heard. Herb. It's the accent. <laughs> I'm yeah. thinking you're going to grow hair. Now no. you're talking about herbs as in real but herbs. But we'll not add nothing. that class if you want to do. And when you talk about herbs, what are we talking about? Is We're it a legal about reason we have to call them herbs? Mint and and parsley and rosemary and things like that. The so. Traditional stuff. So yeah. herb gardens. Now... Are we having some big entertainment acts as well, I believe? I, I think we're working on some big well, acts as well. we are. We're going to have a huge fireworks display on the Friday night. Then Saturday afternoon, of course, we'll have the famous Talent Quest, which is really growing and popular. And, um, and details of that will be coming out in the schedule, which will be um, released. It'll start being the, in the website in the month of July. So keep your eye on our website, find out what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, Big, ba big name on the Saturday night, which I'm not at liberty to disclose as yet. You don't want to tell me secretly? <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, Saturday you know night my we hearing's will have bad, great just say it anyway. entertainment. <laughs> and we're going to have some big acts. We've got the Talent Quest folks. We need you to join up for the Talent Quest. We've got an amazing amount of workshops. We've got heaps of flower displays, yeah. show bags, heaps of food. The food is amazing. But these two ladies... Get do ready. an amazing job as well. They do. They spend let's, the winter let's getting talk ready. to them. Christine, what are you doing this year? Um, this year, because of the public demand, we're offering some workshops that enable people to get help to get their entries ready for the show. So when are the workshops going to be? 24th of July at the Cannington Exhibition Centre and Showgrounds. So in, in next month, 24th of July. Now, right. If people want to get involved with these workshops, do they get in now? Do they need to ring you straight away or go online? They do. They can get in touch with us by phone or by email. Check it out on the website. We'll have the dates up there. It's a first come, first serve basis. How many people can you take? We'll take about 30 in each oh, class. So you need to be quick, folks. Uh, yeah, you need to be fast. And these are heavily subsidised classes. I, so, I you know, you these ladies are these. volunteering to help present the classes so we're running classes for $25. Now, what are we going to learn at these uh, classes Christine? What and Maxine teaching? Manson's taking a card making class and we did a trial run with her and we start with a playing card then she has all her equipment she brings yep. all the equipment and all the accessories you print a, from a stencil background the stamp on it yep. and then the thing these are the three we did very different you can see that one's done with a stencil. Let me have a look at that one. I'll, if you hold, push them over to me, then yep. I'll hold them Maxine up to camera. Maxine Manson so this one him, that. They, so you can make your own birthday cards. Anything. Um, anniversary cards, yes. anything at all. Wonderful. So you start from scratch. You get a card that's got nothing. It's still got nothing. Exactly. In it. That one there. But, <laughs> that's but right. basically the whole idea is the craft, isn't it? it the How in, long does it take? 
to be able to do this sort of stuff? Uh, we did. You can do two an hour. Beautiful. It takes a lot. And the, the workshops um, run for how long? Well, it's going to be three hours, is it? Yeah. And three they hours. rotate, but you'll do an hour of card making, an hour of scrapbooking, an hour of origami. So it'll be yeah. fairly hectic. But yep. you'll go home with the finished product. You don't have to bring anything except yourself. And thing like this one with the decoupage, the yeah. layers. That's Maxine beautiful. has all the pieces, including the little pearls. Pearls. That's OK. In case you didn't did understand the, the accent. <laughs> oh, you're making fun of Diana. You're good. You're doing the joke show. That's lovely. Well, the workshop's the last one, folks, so please get in. <laughs> no. And then, then there's the ones with the die cuts, which means yep. there's a pre-cut before. Love it. Why do you do it? Christine, well, you've certainly got for better those, things to do. For those two you words you said, love it. You love it. So That's the reason why we I've do done it. the workshop with her, but I will actually be taking the scrapbooking one. Lynn, I know we're running out of time, but we'll give Lynn another minute or so. Lynn, you've got the most important, hopefully you've got the most answers as well. Because <laughs> Lynn said, I've got a teddy bear for you. When I went to pick it up, it sort of went... And I went, oh, Lynn, is your surname Dexter? But <laughs> Lynn's brought me in this lovely teddy bear, and there's a little bit of a story behind this, isn't it, Lynn? Tell us a about it. A little bit. Um, well, he's not quite finished, um, and, and <coughs> this is actually my entry, but we'll probably... You're going to enter this into the show as a display? Yes. as competition, Competition. Yes. Now, what's yes. the competition? Is it for making teddy bears or just craft? For making the... Th th this particular entry is for making teddy bears, yeah. Is it a big job to make teddy bears? Because um, it looks like, obviously, you run out of uh, something. Probably... <laughs> pro for, for that bear, probably... 40 to 50 hours. Now, you realise someone at home might be saying, I really love just the head. You might have someone that's a bit kinky or weird. <laughs> Scare the kids. But this all gets put together, doesn't it? You're, yes. And this yes. is what you're going to be doing, putting it together and then entering it. But we're hoping in the future you might actually run some craft, uh, some workshops. Yes. I'm hoping, I know this is going to be very popular. What's what's lacking with this one? Is it just glue or...? Um, no, he has um, joints, yeah. But you don't so want to do it all now because someone's watching and they'll copy you, you see. <laughs> I see Stop. what you're doing. Lynn. Lynn, how long have you been a member of CARS and, and how, why do you love it so much being part of it? Um, I've been a member for years. And they won't release you, will they? <laughs> I know, and, they can talk it's, to me, Lynn. Uh, no, <laughs> it's just fun. Just I can, wink. I can remember going with my mum when she was entering. Look, I, I so. have been involved with cars for about five years, and, and I'm obviously I'm a little bit younger than you guys, not much younger than Lynn. Um, but I've, I, I think it's one of those things. You do love helping local community. It's nice to see the buzz on people's faces. It's nice to do things which are just simple looking after people. It's, you don't need to have a million dollars to do it. It's just simple things like knitting, uh, shearing a sheep, running a tractor, making a teddy bear, doing some fantastic cards, and there's lots of flower arranging and lots of stuff. There's going to be entertainment on the day. L can we catch you uh, on the show weekend? Will you be there as well helping out as a volunteer? Yes. Mm. So yep. I hope you win, because if you don't, <laughs> this is one for the judges, you'll end up like this. <laughs> Well, you Thank you for coming in today, guys. This is just a small taste of what's coming up. We're just sort of teasing you. Canning Show coming up in November. The website, if you want to know more information, is cars.com.au. It's on screen right now. Cars.com.au. There it is. And they've also got a Facebook page as well. Thank you to our wonderful Diane Begg. She keeps it all together. Without Diane, I don't know what they're going to do at that canning grounds, but she does an amazing job. Well done again, starting Thank this you. off. Love working with Diane. Thank you to Lynn and thank you to Christine. Christine, don't be nasty to Lynn, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> no more can be said. We'll see you after break. We're giving away two tickets to Singapore, thanks to Scoot. And, uh, of course, Cooking with Amanda. See you after the break, only on Foxtel. distract us. I don't know, I don't know. This is camera Fletcher here. This is Armanda. <laughs> while the crew gets back into position because they have to try these little things of show themselves off, you see, to the cameras. And this is Adrian Typical. here. See here. <laughs> can I just say, before I run out of time, can you come over, Rachel, just quickly. This is Rachel. Come around. Rachel's been with us for about a year or so. Obviously, we didn't like her and we got rid of her. <laughs> but, no, Rachel's going over to Kalgoorlie. She's leaving us, aren't oh, you? Oh, wow. Yeah. Where are you going to be working? <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> At the Kalgoorlie Minor. 
Oh, wow. Is that who you're living with, the Kalgoorlie miners? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the job. You're going, to, you're, you're going over as a journalist, aren't yeah. you? You're going to be there as a reporter. You're going to be reporting all the crime and everything that's yeah. happening. You probably won't have much to report in Kalgoorlie, but you know what? Apparently under 10's basketball. Under 10's basketball. Well, we're going to wish you everything, all the best of success. We, we thank you for being part of the show and we love you heaps. And we're going to miss you on the show. Thanks. I hope you remember us. <laughs> give a big round of applause in the studio. I think I'll give you a kiss as well. Mm, oh, still quite oily skin, but that's okay. <laughs> Only joking. She's beautiful. She's one of our nicest people here at the show, and she also does parties. I don't know if she's going to give up her parties. You're still going to do kids' parties? I quit. She quit. I oh, forget. That's it. it. <laughs> Hates children. Never wants to go anywhere that's again. It. Amanda, what are we making today? We're making a tomato and cashew nut pesto pasta today with prawns. That sounds amazing. Beautiful. Right, let me show you the ingredients today. What have we got here? That's a gluten-free and vegan product, okay, so right. you can use in any pasta. Oh, over here. Um, there you go. Where can we get these again? Fresh provisions in Fresh Mount Lawley? Fresh provisions in Mount Lawley, IGA in South Fremantle. Oh, look at this. I've got yeah. the pecorino cheese already grated. Now, Armanda doesn't usually like using cheese in her cooking, but she's going to today. Prawns, look at these. You get them from IGA? Local? No, no, no. That's from Not the... Not IGA? No, that's... No. Spearwood? Yeah, well, they... Spearwood. Spearwood, fresh fish. Then, oh, wow. So and you've cooked them yourself? No, cook, no, I peel them. Not cooked yet. Oh, well, that's good at yes. all. <laughs> and this one here? Is? Fresh basil out of the garden. That's oh. just for garnish. It's not for smoking? Yeah. That's just Lovely. the pasta, the penne pasta, so which has been pre-cooked. And this one here is already pre-cooked? Yeah. This one here, I thought, I said, oh, look, what have you brought in? That uh, is the shells of the prawns and the heads. You boil with a touch of stock. water to make a stock. Fantastic. And then once you make all of this, put in, in the ice cubes in the fridge, in the freezer, really? sorry. And then when you're doing a risotto or any other dish, you can do with chicken stock, beef or oh, prawns. Oh, you mean you, you freeze them in the ice cubes? It. Yeah, and what then you grab a piece idea. and you add it just to finish grips instead of using artificial so you have a natural one. So you can actually have it on call when you need it without That's having it. to make it all over again? Without right. making the call. What do we need first? Well, we've got a bit of virgin olive oil. Now this virgin ol olive oil, I believe you press it yourself? Yes. Yeah, just go around the council and pick up as many olives as you can. You can come to my house in Naranda. I've got four trees waiting oh. to be picked. Oh, God. And do you, do you squeeze? How do you make oil? Well, you take to a presser, unless you want to do the old-fashioned yeah. uh, work, which is no good for you. Yeah. Requires a lot of So is it literally grease. just squeezing the olives? Yeah, normally before they used to put in a the, in the stone and then the mule used to pull and that used to go around and squeeze it's all about the meal poor girl <laughs> so and that used to go around and then the oil and the water used to Drip go in through. yeah poor and then meal. what they used to just let it sit so the mm. the liquid the water will stay down and the oil up and they used to scoop good old-fashioned work and how many times do you have to filter it before you get good olive oil oh you don't need to filter you just let it sit for a good 48 I hours how you're into all the natural stuff yeah hey? oh that's it that's fantastic it. now how long do we need to cook the prawns for well literally you need a minute yep because by the time you add the sauce and you add the pasta and you stir it's cooked so yep. you don't want to overcook you literally need it to leave a little bit under mm. so because the prawns keep cooking until they're completely cooked sounds beautiful so you can hear them sizzling all olive oil is delicious and this olive oil is great to have a spoon in the morning because really doesn't they... that make you regular <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> what it does reduce your reduces your blood pressure and your cholesterol. See, I always thought oil you makes you go to the toilet. <laughs> well, not necessary. Not okay. necessary. So if, if I look, I'm going to go home tomorrow morning. I'm going to drink a liter of oil, <laughs> and if I if I have to rush, I'm going to ring you and say, you know please what, you are wrong. Don't. You're wrong. Now, can I just so, while that's cooking, yeah. can you tell us about this wonderful tour you're taking up to the northern? Yes, Territory? I'm doing the north of territory. I'm doing uh, from Alice Springs to Darwin. Yep. Starting uh, next week on a, on a Thursday. Yep. The show starts on a Saturday and Sunday. The show? Yeah, I do. Uh, well, I do a show. It's not a strip show. It's, a, it's all about food. <laughs> well, I didn't think you were doing a strip show. Listen to the naked I chef. I promote all my products over there because people love the stuff over there. There's a lot of people with a lot of health issues. Well, See how the prawns are beautiful. You and I strip. Yeah. So this is the same sauce as the bottle. I made the sauce yesterday. There was plenty left and I thought I'm not checking. Tomato and cashew nut pesto. Pesto. No skin on the tomato, no no seeds. Someone asked me last week, I bet you it's expensive. It's not, is it? How of much is it? Of course not. Uh, retail you buy in the shops for $13 to $14. Yep. But if you come and get direct from me, you get for $12. Oh, so. that's cheap. And you know what? 
I, you gave me a few jars a few weeks ago. Yeah. And I took them home and I made a curry and I actually put it into the curry and it was a blast. It was amazing. Very the the flavour that it added to the curry was incredible. See how easy it is. Do you want the herbs yet? Not yet. That's just for the oh. end. We don't need it. There's plenty no of basil here. No. Unless no it's completely yet. dry. Oh, that okay. was that was just to show you. Oh, what not you did to with waste. the head. Yeah, yeah, well that's what you said. You don't throw away anything, do you? No. You make the stock. No, I'm from the jungle. We throw nothing away. <laughs> well that's lethal. You so could probably I'll, add a bit of alcohol I'll into put that. a little bit of that now. Would you like some? Uh, yes, just so a touch. You're going to be in the Northern Territory for how long? For eight weeks. Eight so weeks. So I'll be back in August. Yep. Uh, and I'll be doing a lot of cooking. I'll be doing a few cooking classes over there, uh, as well as showing and and promoting the products. You and, know you're uh, an amazing cook because you're so different to every other convention. Look how quickly you cook this on set. Apart from bringing in the sauce because it saved us time. How long did it take you to put it together? It literally Three takes under five minutes to do this. And if you're vegan or vegetarian, yeah. warm up the sauce, have your pasta hot, put in a bowl, put the pasta, toss it, add a um, bit of cheese, cheese and you're done. And Bobby's your uncle before, and this is ready. It is such a quick meal, cost it effective. Is. That's it. That's probably under $20, folks. It is. And it's quick and easy to prepare. And, and that's is enough for how many people? Oh, the I reckon Sophie. maybe five or six. Yeah, well, in my house probably four. We're pigs. In my, we house, well. probably, in my house probably <laughs> one. And I'd probably do it before everyone else gets up. But so sounds fantastic. So you see fantastic. how it is? It's very, very good. Not ready to try yet, is it? It is, it is. It's now, really done. if people want more information about Armanda and any of her fantastic products, you can buy the sources from Fresh Provisions in Mount Lawley or you can buy them directly from her and she's willing to give you a discount. The Beautiful. Facebook page is up on screen, I think, right yep. now. Uh, there it is. It is facebook.com and then forward slash Armanda's Beautiful. Cuisine. Oh, look it up. And I also give amazing cooking classes. So yes. if you want to try some African dishes that you never tried before, because African food... It's bloody delicious. Can I have more? So. <laughs> only, if you've been a, only if you've been a good boy. Oh, look at that. She's put, see? Look how goes. beautiful that is. It is I'm really good. Some cheese on it. Cheese, yeah. Amanda, so we won't see you for about a month or so? No, you're going to be in trouble. I might have to Skype you just to, to get you going. <laughs> oh, look at this. I'm going to try this. Are we ready? Camera three? Wait a oh, minute. Here we go. Wait a minute. Oh. The secreto. Oh, you have to have the herbs on there. Well, you Make don't it... have to, but they're here. Might as well use them. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> I thought you were gone. <laughs> it's oh, delicious. The food is amazing. This is incredible. I have to say, it's just creamy. Without cream. So Italian. Mm -hmm. African style. See, my last live, I was Italian. <laughs> You've outdone yourself again. Thank you. Thank I you. wish you all the best up at the Northern Territory. Please thank follow you. Armanda on her website, the Facebook page, which we put up on the screen. Google it if you missed it. There it is on screen. And uh, we'll see you in about eight weeks. Beautiful. That's it for another Fresh and Local. We'll be back after the break to see if we can give away two tickets flying Scoot. Thanks to uh, Scoot Airlines. See you after the break. Only on Foxtel. Time to play my favourite game on the couch. It is, of course, Spin It to Win It. Thanks to Scoot, we are giving away another two tickets, folks. Two tickets flying Scoot to Singapore. And our contestant today is Julian... That's right. Sosa from Oakford in WA. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, what made you enter the competition? Well, as you saw, my partner's pregnant, so we're yes, hoping to go for a baby moon before the baby comes, so that'll be great too. Hoping to go to Singapore. Yes. You've been there before? Just once, but as a transit. So Did you fly Scoot? No. No, it's Many completely years ago. different. You actually enjoy the flight. I also want to go on the 787. Ah, oh, the Dreamliner. Yes. There's no better way. And uh, you know what? You can even upgrade to Scoot Hopefully. Biz because you're not getting any cost to do with That's the airline right. tickets, so it'll be wonderful. Now, That's the correct. way this will work, right, I'm going to get you to think about a couple of numbers. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to get you to place the Scoot logos over them. But I'm sure you want to know what you can win today. Of course. So let me show you some of the great prizes over here that you can win. You're playing for a orbital sander worth $60. You've got a... a 10 volt hammer drill worth $90, a buffer worth $49, a grass trimmer worth $129, we've got a toolkit, a rotary toolkit worth $49, you've also got a multifunction tool $99, a staple gun worth $49, and the My Buddies, here it is, 
mybuddies.com.au. That's mabuddies.com.au. $69 they are at the moment. If you put the word couch on the email, you'll get 20 bucks off that for $49. Great prizes. I know you want to win the scoop prize. Yes. So... What numbers would you like to put the numbers put on? Do you want to do that for yeah, me? Yeah, put it on three. So we're going to go for three. I'll three. hold that for you. And what and else? And seven. Three and seven. Now, tell me a little bit about yourself. What do you do for a job? I'm working at Crown Scheduling, Workforce Planning. So I do all the rosters for yep. the dealers. And um, just that, really. And I have a bit of a farm down in Oakford. So yep. we have a horse and an alpaca. Do you so, ride? Yes. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Looking forward to having your first show? Yes. Oh, Most definitely. Nice. Exciting. You'll oh, need yeah. the holiday. All right. <laughs> well, Julian's going to spin the wheel. Thanks to Scoot. I'll, I'll let you spin it. And cool. let's hope you get on seven or three. And uh, if you do, you'll fly Scoot Dreamliner. And it'll be fantastic to Singapore at a time of your choosing. Let's hope you land on one of the numbers that you've picked. Because we would love to see you win this prize. And so would Scoot. They are a wonderful airline. And if... No, no, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Now, you've landed on five. Yes. Okay, now, five is the Azito 250-volt multifunction tool, which is over there. Mm -hmm. But would you like to keep that prize, which I can understand you wanting mm -hmm. to keep it for the baby? <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a toy for yeah. the plan. <laughs> or would you like to spin again? I would spin if I could. Jody, do you agree he should spin again? His girlfriend's saying spin again. Come on up, Jody, while we spin. Oops, yeah. You're going you're gonna to have to bring him luck. Come on, walk on set. We've got Jody, your partner, in. Mm -hmm. Now, Jody, you're going to wish him luck and spin together. Do you want to let Jody spin yeah, it? Yeah, spin Ooh. it. Jody, come on, spin the wheel for him. You might bring some luck. Baby luck. Come on in, guys. Come on in. Here we go. We're hoping for seven or three. Seven or three. Seven or three. Everybody in the studio wanting you to win this. And so does Scoot. Let's hope you get to the three. Let's hope. Seven, seven, seven. No. no. <laughs> Five again. Not fair. No. Spin again. Go on. Spin again. Spin again. Spin again. Spin again. One more time. Go on. Spin again. No. One more time. Because I know Scoot wants you to win this, so we'll, we'll give everybody a second go. Because I don't think you wanted number five. You landed on that one before. Yeah, well, I should have put it on five. There you go. Let's hope you get seven or three. Whatever it lands now, we're going to have to give you. But I know you want to win. Here we go. Let's hope it gets to... It's getting... Five again. Oh. You're destined five. to win that. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, you didn't win the Singapore trip. But I'm going to give you the My Buddies. I'm also going to give you... Thanks to our good friends at Crown and Andrews, these wonderful board games. There's four of them. Huey, there's uh, Gooey and Louie, and Pop the Pig, and uh, Bling It Up, and a whole heap of things there. Thank you very much for being a part Thank of the show today. Us. It's a shame you didn't win the prize, but try again next month. You never know. Yeah. You could watch somebody else win. Yeah. <laughs> but we wish you all the best of luck. Cool. Now, if you'd like to be part of Spin It to win it, this is how you do it. All you have to do, there it is, the, the plane flew over me. Put the word scoot on an SMS. That's S C O O T, scoot. Your name and address and your location where you are, WA Victoria. Anywhere in Australia will fly you to Singapore where scoot flies. And all you have to do is send it to 0439 929 929. That's 0439 929 929. And you could win two tickets. Now, next month, can I tell you who's playing next month? Her name is Ripley Seville and she's from Medley. I think it's right, Medley in WA. She'll be coming into the studio and she'll be playing for this fantastic prize and you can be too. That is it for the show today. I hope you've enjoyed the couch. We have no time for any more music today because we've gone way over with the extra spin. I shall see you next week, Australia. Have a wonderful week and see us only on Foxtel. Don't forget, only on Foxtel. Tell all your friends we are having a new website made for us we've got facebook there tell everybody to watch us on facebook and uh, we do love your company every week right here on our local show the couch as always a lot of fun see you next week they've told me to wrap it up bye bye <laughs> big show well done sorry man.